Hello everyone, welcome in to Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents me, Deborah, <laughs> with the vloggy thing. It's my Saturday vloggy thing where I go through pretty much everything I've been doing throughout the week, maybe some extras, lots of shout outs, and um, acquisitions. Boy, are there some acquisitions today. Matter of fact, there are so many acquisitions of so many different types that um, there will be a separate video, probably maybe even two separate videos. One will involve clothing, plus size clothing. Yes, there were some finds and um, maybe some other stuff. Not sure yet, just thinking about it here. Also to let you know, the uh, count how many ball bands are in that bag is done. I was wearing this when I recorded that video because I just got done recording it. Chose winner, plural. Just a little something something it's not gonna be anything big so it's just gonna be a little surprise just because it was fun to play now let's go into things here <sighs> breathe life work is a pita if you don't know what a pita is separate those letters and uh you can fill me in if you really want to in the comments okay no no big change there anywhere just it's a pita um other lifey things uh that's pretty much it work and i did do some shopping and boy yeah um i'm gonna start with that actually <laughs> mm -hmm. there was dollar tree i got every bit of yarn that they had there at this one dollar tree two of the just yarn acrylic these are worsted four weight uh 60 grams 120 meters I think this is oh it's ebony i thought it was just black it's ebony i got two of those and i got six cottons like i said i bought everything they had just cotton premiere which isn't actually just cotton which i think is weird it's 15 polyester 85 cotton perfectly fine for any kitchen application but why do they call it just cotton if it's not just cotton anywho 60 grams 104 yards it's a four weight and this is in the color white and that's exactly what it is. I was running out of white cotton. I use it with washcloths and stuff. Now, but wait, there's more. I went to a Goodwill, y'all, and I usually don't have good luck at Goodwill finding yarns. I might find one, it's like, eh, why bother? Oh my God. Okay, I was at the Goodwill in Hartwell, Georgia. Nice big store. It's, it's really well run. Everything is nice and clean and set up well. And <clears throat> yeah, they had some yarn up in there. Okay. I'm just grabbing them out as they come. This looks to be a full ball, a Super Saver Jumbo of the color Aaron. It's a four weight. We all know what Super Saver is. It is a great utility yarn to have. Let me see if I can do this without throwing everything in the floor. Look at this. Looks to be a full skein. Uh, 99 cents. Hometown USA. It is soft. It's a super bulky six. And it's a pretty blue. It's a lion brand yarn. Yes. Oh goodness. There's so much in here. that it, And it's all just tied it together. Let's see if I can get a few of the. Some of these things are the same out of here. Maybe. Don't fall. I already had some of this in my stash. Matter of fact, I see four or six balls of it over there. <clears throat> $2 a ball, which is what I paid for it at Ollie's, but it's not the retail value of it. And this will make some hats or some scarves. It'll make some really warm stuff for some people. Probably not me, but it's pretty decent stuff. It is, uh, oh, for Pete's sake, six bulky. It's 80 acrylic and 20 wool. It feels just like a standard old acrylic. You don't really feel the wool out of it. And it is wooly, thick and quick. I've got two of these color, which is blue jay, what they're calling it. I don't know where the gray and specks of blue call it a blue jay, but whatever. And this one, and yes, I know the yarn is a little discombobulated in there. Oh, this one is called blueberry, which I think is weird. It, it does read more green than blue, but hey. These will make something warm, all right? And as they say, winter is coming. All right, I'm gonna get out the random ones right now. Ah! 
there was yarn avalanche. Okay. This <clears throat> is a random, it's a random random. It looks like it's mostly cottons. Um, some mostly full, some not so much. We recognize some of these yarns, but it was a decent deal. <clears throat> this was 99 cents, and this is all purple goodness of different sorts. Looks to me like it's all acrylic. I haven't pulled it out to fiddle with it yet. I was waiting to show all y'all. This one, also 99 cents, looks like it's some of that thick and quick plus some other stuff. It's good to have some random colors and stuff in the stash to do some things. All right, oh, here we go, another Hometown USA. This one is in the color Hoboken Honey. It's so squishy. Oh, good grief, how many of these things are there? This one is not Hoboken Honey. <laughs> they just keep coming, y'all. Um, this one, <clears throat> is jungle it does kind of resemble a jungle camo I think I know somebody who will want a hat out of this but I don't think I have enough to make a hat out of that one color <clears throat> now I got some interesting little yarns look at these little babies all right <sighs> the they got the tag all covered up so it's kind of hard to see what it is, it's a 50 gram ball, 105 yards, and these little donut bands, you know, are a pain to read anything on. Blah, 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 color 10, that's helpful. Made in Italy for Valley Yarns. This is a Valley Yarns then, it is soft. I think it I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to see if I can peel this label off. And no, I did not look out and it'd be half price on this color tag at Goodwill. They were 99 cents a ball, but I still think that is a really good price. This is something called Southwick variety. I'll have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure I got a decent deal. And the yarn is so flippin' soft. There we go, 52% Pima Cotton, 48% Bamboo. I don't know what I'm gonna make out of it, but I have at least three. I might have another one in that bag because the bag is a discombobulated mess at this point. Oh, wait, there's two more rando bags. Uh, got this one which there's some cotton and some acrylic in here and some that's a really fine weight but I wish I had more of that that is really really pretty but random stash stuff browns purples blues there will be amigurumis in my future okay I'm just letting you know that and this I wish that I had more of oh, finally the bag is empty uh, this it's a hundred percent cotton looks like somebody started something that will get frogged but whatever 99 cents mission falls 1824 cotton it's a hundred percent cotton it's kind of that bumpy cotton but yeah it's kind of neat and I will play with it and then I got these these are Reynolds Soft Linen. Hand wash, cool water, mild soap, roll in a towel, lay flat to dry, blah, blah, blah. Made in Romania, exclusively for Reynolds Yarns. I have no idea. It was originally marked $6.20. And I got them for 99 cents each. And it is flax and acrylic blend. Yeah. It's got a, just a touch of fuzzy halo on it, not much. I don't know what I'm doing with it yet, but at that price I had to get it just so I could play with it. Goodwill, y'all, goodwill. Okay, those three, and there was one more that fell to the floor, sorry about that. I wish there was more of this. <laughs> this is soft and squishy and roving. 
all of my roving fans out there. And I'm trying to read underneath the Goodwill sticker. And of course you can't. Uh, it's, it's called Ariosa. Classic Elite Yarns. I don't know what the content even is. Could be wool. Will the sticker come off without ripping the label? Oh, oh my. Originally $11.60 a ball. It was 99 cents, y'all. Made in Italy. 90% 90 90 extra fine merino, 10% cashmere. It's my first cashmere, y'all. Yeah. I've only got one ball of it. I'll probably just sit around and, and, and fondle the yarn. Okay. Yeah. So that was that massive yarn thing from Goodwill. Now I have yarn all over the bed because that's where I was tossing them. Into the actual crochet bits and bobs for the week. Um, <clears throat> I do have a whip that I need to pick up almost from the floor. Stand by. And I had to show you this because for so long, the hubby blanket was receiving absolutely no love. And it has gotten some love this week. Where is my progress marker? There it is. When last we spoke, I was there. I'm now here. Okay. Doesn't seem like much, but it's a pretty wide thing. Yeah. The hubby blanket got some love. And I better get used to working on blankets and, Af and Afghans, Lapgans soon because uh, Lisa's Pick and Mix Cal is coming up and that's going to be like a Lapgan. So I'll be doing several rows a week in that. Got to tune up those crochet muscles. Know what I'm saying? All right, I got to pause again to put this back. Okay. That was the whip. I do have some finished objects. Yes, they're little, but there are some firsts up in here, okay? Uh, oh, for Pete's sake, where did it go? You know, hang on. Fun fact, it was in my hand the whole time. Um, my very first, very first Tunisian anything. It's a little bit wonky, but it was a first go. Just the simple stitch in Tunisian. Like I said, it's a little bit wonky. But, uh, I did it. And now, yeah, I had some stitches gained or lost someplace. But, I like the way the stitch is. It's just awkward in your hands. But once you get going, it's like, okay, I can do this. But it just feels weird, which makes it hard. Now, this is 100% cotton. It's just a washcloth. Playing with my just cotton. No, it's not 100% cotton. It's just cotton, which is 8515. Talked about that a minute ago. I do have some other washcloths that I made, always making washcloths for Rose Likes Crochet because those are fun, easy makes. Uh, this one, I just love the color psychedelic in this yarn. And I mixed it up with some yellow because I didn't have much of the psychedelic left and did it to where there are some ridges up in there. So there's nice texture to it. Uh, also, another first for me this week right? Um, I did my first corner to corner. Following Crystal Bag of Days, she did a tutorial on corner to corner, like for a blanket or something. And I just kind of followed that because I had never done it before. Okay. That's another one that's kind of weird. Once you get started, it's like, why? This is strange. What am I doing? And then I kind of got it again <laughs> with the same yarn from the other first ever. Uh, played with a circle in the car. I would not use this as a hot pad. It's way too thin. This is more, this is a washcloth that you can hang up, you know. But yeah. And finally, I wanted something to work up really, really, really quickly. This is two held together. A bigger hook. Don't remember what size. No pattern. Just playing. And that has a nice texture to it for a washcloth, even though it's holy. I figure with all of the gaps and the laziness in it, it won't get so heavy when it's wet because cotton will get pretty heavy when it's wet. Coming up soon, as far as crochet goes, that pick and mix cow, I have got to decide on colors. 
I may have to go to the Joanne website because the Big Twist stuff, I really kind of like them for that and it's really inexpensive. Um, looking at my yarn over there, looking at my yarn over here, do I need more yarn? No. Will I probably get more? What do you think? All right. I did jot down shout outs for today because I do want to shout some people out. One, Dizola Designs has got a, the coolest little amigurumi ghost that she's doing a um, tutorial for. She's done it. I've watched part of it. I haven't watched all of it because I haven't sat down to fool with it yet. But yeah, I've got to check that out because it's a ghost and it's super cute. And um, link will be down below. A non-yarny shout out, uh, KBX Band. You may have heard this before, okay? KBX Band, it is kind of yarn adjacent because uh, his wife is Neva from Manic Mama Musings and they have a little podcast. What? Listen to it this morning and I was like, yes, come on y'all. Why don't you have more people paying attention because y'all are talking about music. They went over the latest Iron Maiden um, album that just dropped, uh, talking about it. They didn't play it, of course. There are copyright issues. Hello. But yeah, it's a nice discussion and it was fun. And he also talks about other music stuff on his channel. Check him out. LJ is cool. And so is Neva. Love these guys. And looking at this list, I almost forgot two things. But only one of them I'm going to show right now. The other one will be on another video. I got some happy mail. Honest to goodness, didn't even enter. It's just a fun happy mail from somebody who I first heard about on Lisa Ladybird Loves for her um, Building Creators Bridges and when she was doing those awesome interviews with different creators. And that is Karen Jean from, I have to always read the name because I just get mess it up, Ex Libris Crafts. This is her card. Let's see if I can get that up there with, with some pens that she sent me. Okay, two pens with her logos on them. She sent a very sweet card. Oh my gosh, I've got stuff falling over here. I just wanna show you the card, okay? Look at that, that's pretty. And that is all put together by Miss Karen Jean. And there's a nice little sticker inside and it's just, a sweet thank you from Karen Jean and thank you. This is not all though. It was not just a pen and this awesome card. No, no, no. In case you didn't know, Karen Jean makes um, journals. They're often referred to as junk journals because it's all kinds of stuff put together. It is so fun to watch her put these things together, okay? just the process of what she goes through. She kind of talks through it as she's going through and you can follow the whole process. Sometimes it's over three or four videos for a particular journal. First, it was in this sweet little envelope like this. I just pulled open the top. It's got a little ribbon on the outside. Love it. Fabulous called. I answered. Love it. She calls these journaling cards. You can also use them as bookmarks sweet and adorable and so nice so many interesting things and layers on here looking at this now watching her process i can kind of see what she has done to get this and it's really really fun i love it and look at this cute little notebook okay and it's got some bling and it's got a little fasten that is also blingy yes that was velcro and inside is a little space to tuck things in plus a little like little you can a tag that you can use to write stuff on there is a uh where'd it go a bookmark little ribbon bookmark that you can use in there and another one of those on this side i am not set up to show this properly this is super cute check out her channel watch karen jean create it is a blast for real. Thank you, Karen Jean. You have no idea how much it made my day when this came in the mail yesterday. I was having a moment and I was having a day and the hubby handed me the mail that he had gone down to get. And I was like, what's this? 
I got an envelope. And then I saw the name and the return address and I was like, oh my gosh. Ah! So yeah, that did really, really make me happy. Um, I guess that's why they call it happy mail. <laughs> Thanks to everyone who has made it this long in the video. I'd really appreciate it if you drop a like, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Tell a friend, bring a friend along. I promise you we will have some fun here. I have over 400 subscribers now. What? I'm going to have a giveaway at five. It'll be an actual honest to goodness, substantial-ish giveaway. So bring a friend. You never know. You could win some. <laughs> Again. Thank you. Uh, check the description box below for links for all the folks I talked about and other goodies, including the link to if you want to buy me a coffee or a ball of yarn. My Kofi link is down below as well. And uh, I will see you on Tuesday for a continuation of Snacks Around the World. I'm doing tutorials now, super uber beginner tutorials. I've started crochet from the beginning. Um, just little bitty steps. I was a super uber beginner. Now I'm just a noob, okay? But I was a super uber beginner and I know what it's like to start off and go, I, I got the stringy bits and I've got the stick and I don't know what to do with it. Seriously, we have all been there. We can all make it through. We all help each other. This is a great community. Thanks, y'all. <laughs>